and I'm back. So yeah, I just finished recording a video. Uh, you can see a glare on my glasses. Not cool. Guess I'll take those off. Okay, that's much better. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Life of Lamarge. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button, quick thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. So, I just finished recording a video, and I thought about something else that I wanted to talk about tonight. So, if you see two videos on my channel with the same clothes on, they were recorded in the same night, okay? Anywho, so I wanted to do a quick video about healing. When it comes to healing... I want to say to anybody who is going through something, rather it is the loss of a job, the loss of a loved one, a heartbreak, a car accident, anything. I mean, I'm talking anything that you experience in life. Do not allow anyone, I'm talking anyone, do not allow anyone to tell you when and how to heal. Okay, first of all, everybody handles things totally different. What what will totally destroy one person will be nothing to another person. One person can lose their job and like totally feel like their life is over. Another person can lose their job that same day and be like, huh, it's just a job and they good. One person can experience a breakup and feel like you know it just broke their heart and it takes them a minute to recover from it another person can literally bounce back the next week and be in a whole new relationship because that's just how they do but what i don't like is when a person try to come tell you that you should be over something by now because i'm not you and you not me okay let's make that very clear from the jump my thing is, I don't care how long it takes me. I really don't. If you feel like my healing is bothering you, by all means, distance yourself from me. Because I just feel like if you're someone I consider very close to me, there's nothing that I should do that would cause you to feel like you need to, oh, I can't be around you because you always down. Oh, don't try to tell me that, oh, I want to come around you. I want to hang around you. But if I do, we can't talk about this, this, and this. We can not talk about this, this, and that. Now, let me stop for a minute. I totally get it. Your energy does transfer to other people, especially if you're going through something and the person really hates seeing you go through it and it bothers them or it hurts them to see you hurt. I understand that. But... If you feel like you can be around me while I'm up, don't try to tell me that you can't be around me when I'm down, okay? Don't do that. One thing about me is if I consider you someone close to me, I don't care if you're up, down, or sideways. I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to be there for you. On the worst days, I don't care if you getting on my nerves because you repeating yourself over and over again. I'm still going to listen. I might roll my eyes while I'm listening, <laughs> but I'm still going to listen. And my thing is also, you never know how you will deal with something until you're put into that person's shoes. I even experienced it for myself. I can honestly admit that I had a relative that went through a similar situation as myself before I did. And... You know, I've even had moments where I even addressed her, but like, okay, you sh you know, you're going to have to toughen up and get over it. That's the worst thing I could have said to her. I have now since then apologized. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a good thing to say to somebody going through something like that, especially, like I said, if you have not experienced it. So you don't know the feeling. You don't. And now that I've got placed in her shoes <laughs> in a similar situation, um, I apologized to her and I was like, hey, you know, when you was going through it and I was fussing at you, and I didn't know what it was until now, you know, and I was woman enough to apologize for that. And now she's actually been there for me, never left my side. I don't care if I need to just call her at two o'clock in the morning just to cry and get it out. She like, listen to me. She pray with me and she like, you're going to have a better day tomorrow. End of story.
So, like I said, I'm saying to you, if you are going through something, no matter what it is, do whatever you need to do to heal. Do whatever you need to do to get over it. I don't care if you need to kick, scream, and holler, do it. If that's going to make you feel better, do it. Anybody who's in your life who feel like you're bothering them, let them go. Okay? Listen to me when I say this. You'll feel so much better afterwards. Let them go. Let them do what they need to do to distance themselves from you. That's fine. By all means, that is fine. Because the thing about it is, when you're already feeling down, you do not want to surround yourself with anybody that's going to make you feel worse. It's like, I'm already feeling bad. I'm already hurt. I'm already going through the motions. And then you come around me and you make me feel bad for feeling bad. You get what I'm saying? That That's not good. That's not a good feeling. Now you done sent me into a spiral effect because I feel like I'm bothering people for hurting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I actually, you know, over time got to the point to where I just started bottling it up and I kept it to myself because I did feel like I was bothering people. But that didn't help me because then it's just a big you know, build up of emotion that's going to eventually explode. So I'm very thankful for the few people that I do have that stick by my side and will listen to me anytime that I need them. In the midst of what I was going through, I did not like having people around me who try to tell me that how I'm feeling should not be felt. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. Um, healing takes time. Healing takes growth. Healing takes patience. It's not going to happen overnight. Well, for some people to do, but for you it may not, and that is okay. Do what you need to do to get through whatever it is you're going through, and do not let anyone tell you any different, okay? So, yeah, that is a part of my story. Um, as far as my healing process, um, I am currently going through a divorce, and healing take time i have good days i have bad days i can admit that i just keep going you know you cry about it wipe your tears get up and keep going <laughs> it, it's child. <sighs> i just don't want anyone out there to feel like they are alone or to feel like their healing is bothering somebody who cares I don't want you to feel like you need to shut yourself off for, to appease anybody around you. Nope. Let them go. And once you get yourself into a good space, then you can possibly reconnect with that person. You know, let them know how you feel. Like, I don't appreciate the fact that you feel like I was bothering you or you couldn't be around me because I was going through something. But yet, you can hit me up on a on a good day because you see me smiling on the internet or you see a status where I'm happy. Now, all of a sudden, oh, what's up? What you doing? You want to do this? You want to do that? No, because my thing is, I don't want anybody around me who feel like you can't be around me while I'm down if they are your true friends true loved ones y'all will eventually reconnect but do what you need to do to make yourself feel better get through your healing process no matter how long it takes don't let nobody tell you that you need to be over something in their time no do it in yours okay so I'm gonna have many more videos about this like I said I've been through a lot this past year and I am gonna tell pieces of my story in hopes that it will help someone else too. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you um, hit that subscribe button, do a quick thumbs up, and don't forget to leave some comments down below. This is Life of Lamage. Good night.